Hey, so you've been doing so dang good at um, the pattern for uh, All I've Ever Known that you are ready for the rest of the song. Um, there's just a couple of other patterns, and there are um, like three new patterns, each one of which is very similar to what we've already done. In fact, the right hand is exactly the same for all of them. The right hand never changes throughout the entire song. So let's kind of go over what we've got. So we have our normal pattern. And that's our intro. We play through it twice. Then we have our verse. I was alone so long. I didn't even know that I was lonely. Out in the cold so long. I didn't even know that I was cold. So that's been four times through the normal pattern during the verse. Cool. Now we have our pre-chorus. So we're going to start the same way that our normal pattern starts with we're going to start here except you're going to stay there for two strums so one two now we're going to put our pointer finger on the thickest string our sixth string at the second fret and we're going to stay there for two let's practice that a couple times so here for two so middle finger on the fifth string third fret pointer finger on the sixth string second fret so with the with the singing, it sounds like turn my collar to the wind. That's one time through the whole pattern. Then we go through it a again, except we stop in the middle. This is how it's always been. All you do is hit that that uh, pointer finger on the sixth string second fret once and hang on. So we essentially do the whole pattern one and a half times. Turn my collar to the wind one time. This is how it's always been. All I've known is how to hold my own. And we're back to our normal pattern. Two times through. All I've known is how to hold my own. But now I want to hold you too. So that's been four times. We're going to add just half of the normal pattern before we begin the instrumental. Now, the instrumental is, sorry, I have a sheet over here. Um, the instrumental is going through the normal pattern three and a half more times. One, two, three. We're gonna go through it a half time again. Take me in your arms. You see what we did there? So we went through it three times, and on that kind of third and a half time, we go through the first two parts. You take me, and then we start over again. Cool? So now we're on to the bridge. So we have our half, half time through at the end of the instrumental. You take me in your arms. So it actually repeats those two. So we have our half. You take me in your arms. Now, middle finger is going to go onto the fourth string at the third fret. So now all three of these fingers are all on the third fret. And suddenly there's sunlight all around. So let's start at the bridge. Okay, actually let's start at the last half, <laughs> the last half time of the instrumental, so three and a half. You take me in your arms, and suddenly there's sunlight all around. So we're going back to those um, middle finger on the fifth string third fret, and pointer finger on the fifth string second fret. Now we complete our normal pattern. So. Suddenly there's sunlight all around. Normal pattern. The whole, that whole section repeats. Everything bright and warm and shining like it never did before. Oh, sorry. Before. Okay, so that's a weird little section. So let's go from the instrumental. Three and a half times through. One, two, Three, four, one. Second time through in the instrumental. Third time through in the instrumental. Half 
lifetime. You take me in your arms, and suddenly there's sunlight all around. Normal pattern, everything bright and warm, and shining like it never did before. Cool. So, just a quick review. When, I, when it says bridge pattern two on your document there, the whole bridge pattern is... That's one time through. So it's sort of the beginning of the normal, then we have this weird extra, then we start the regular pattern in full. So it's a pattern that's twice as long as our regular pattern. Does that make sense? It's a little bit weird. All right. If it's confusing, just watch through that section a couple times. It'll start to make sense. Okay, moving on. We have, um, before we begin our pre-chorus pattern again, um, we have our interlude, which is just the regular pattern one more time through. So, um, we have that. Now, we're on to our pre-chorus again. So, starting the same position we did before, um, and for a moment I forget, point your finger on the sixth, just how dark and cold it gets. Cool! Now we're on to the chorus, which is our regular pattern. However, it's only, th again, three and a half times. That's going to be a magic number in this song. All I've ever known is how to hold my own. One time, a second. how to hold my own but now I want to hold you did you get that that was our three and a half so we didn't we didn't do the final pattern of our fourth we started the fourth we didn't finish it now I want to hold you and we stopped now we have an outro pattern which is even simpler than the bridge that bridge was the hardest part I promise um, now I want to hold you so we go back to that same position we've had before where our middle finger is on the fourth string third fret and we do it twice now i want to hold you and then we go to the beginning of our normal pattern hold you close that's the whole outro pattern so we have our, our weird middle fingers section now i want to hold you beginning of the of the normal pattern and then you repeat it four times I don't want to ever have to let you go Now I want to hold you, hold you tight I don't want to go back to the lonely life When we get to the words lonely life, we continue with our regular pattern Twice, so here's the second time So, let's start at the outro so, middle finger on that fourth string's third fret. One, two, three, four. Now I want to hold you, hold you close. And I don't want to ever have to let you go. And now I want to hold you, hold you tight. I don't want to go back to the lonely to the kind of truly outro. This is where um, Orpheus comes in. in. In the original, they've actually shifted keys on the word lonely life. Um, she goes up to a higher note, to the lonely life, and then they're in a brand new key. But that's really weird and hard to do on the guitar, so we're gonna stay in the same key because we're cheating. And by that I mean making it sound nice with less effort because it's still gonna sound gorgeous. Um, you're gonna sound so good singing this song, and I cannot wait to hear it. Um, okay, so, um, where or Orpheus comes in, well, technically I don't think he's come in yet. Whatever. Um, it's the regular pattern again. Eight times. Say that you'll hold me forever. Say that the winds won't change on us. Say that we'll stay with each other. It'll always like this I'm gonna hold you forever The winds will never change on us Long as we stay with each other And it'll always be like this 
So, and it'll always be like this. Let's talk through that. So let's start with long as we stay with each other. Long as we stay with each other. And it'll always... Pause on that pointer finger on the second fret of the sixth string. It'll always be like... And on the word this, go to your full G chord. That's where you have your middle finger on the sixth string. 3rd fret, pointer finger on the 5th string, 2nd fret, you got the whole big strum. If you really want to break hearts, here's a fun trick. And this might be hard to do at first, but here's my suggestion. Pointer finger comes down, hammers onto its position on the 5th fret. So practice holding all the other fingers where they are and with all your might. might. With all of your might. Slam that pointer finger into the string at the second fret. So, how that'll work is, and it'll always be like, set up your middle finger uh, on taking over that third fret of the sixth string, strum, and hammer down. So, and it'll always be like. So that's just an extra little thing. If, it, if that feels weird, totally ignore it. Okay, 